guys, welcome back to my channel. I am back with another haul and you've heard it all before, so let's just jump right in. I don't have too much stuff because we've only just come out of lockdown, so I haven't been to too many shops, but there is still a handful of different places that I've been. However, we're going to start with our favourite, which is Kmart. The first thing I picked up from Kmart is another set of these uh, textured cutlery things. I don't know why I said it like that, but I grabbed another set because I don't know where all our forks are going, <laughs> but we keep losing forks and Evan and I both prefer this set to the other one that I bought. Um, I, in one of my previous hauls, I bought this set and another plain set just to see which one we liked better. And we prefer this one. They're a lot heavier, so they feel more expensive when they're not. Um, but I bought another set to hopefully ensure that we have more forks just hanging around because they have legs apparently, I don't know. The next thing I got was just a pair of their like plain black little shoe things. They're like $2.50 I think for these and they're really handy to have just to slip on for really quick errands or around the house or whatever. So I grabbed a new pair of these just so I have them. Over the next few weeks, I'm going to be tidying up and kind of redoing our laundry a little bit. So I grabbed a uh, duck board, the bamboo duck board that everybody uses to cover up their sinks so that I can cover up my sink <laughs> because we very rarely use it and it would be helpful to have a little bit more storage, not storage, bench space in the laundry. So I grabbed that. Another laundry item that has been very popular all over the place is the magnetic laundry caddy. I grabbed this quite a while ago actually, it's just been sitting in my car and I completely forgot that it was there. Um, but it's got the big magnetic strip on the back, it can sit on your like dryer or uh, washing machine, whatever, and you can put stuff in it. These are very noisy. <laughs> These I have been eyeing off for quite a while. These are just um, plastic bowl covers. They have a whole lot of sizes. I think there's six in here. Yeah, six. So they range from quite big to quite little. Oh, <laughs> they have a little smiley face on them. That's adorable. They also have uh, green ones, I think, but there's only four in the pack. Um, and these were much cheaper and you get six. So I grabbed those because they're clear and green isn't really a decor color that I use anyway. So I'd rather the plain ones. So I grabbed these. The next thing I got is also going to be a kitchen item. This is the touch top bin. You literally just touch the top <laughs> and it opens. In the town that we live in, they give you a little bin that is called a Fogo bin, which is basically for all your food scraps. Um, ours, when we moved in, was just disgusting. It was moldy, it was really gross, and to buy a new one is, I can't remember how much it is, but it's a bit of a pain because you have to go to like the, the council place during their hours during the week, and we are both at work during the week, so it's, really inconvenient to try and get a replacement of those bins. Um, so I just grabbed a Kmart one and I think I prefer this anyway because the ones that they give you are just like a lift lid, which is fine, but this one's cool because it has a button. Who doesn't like a button on thing? Everybody likes buttons. I think this is my last Kmart item, but it is so cute, you guys. I got these teeny tiny little pet socks. Aren't they cute? This is the front and this is the back. It's got little grippies. I got these for Annie. She absolutely hates them. Here's proof. <laughs> she wore them for about 0.5 seconds and then she flicked them across the room. But they're so cute. I uh, I got them to kind of help protect her, her uh, claws because she gets them stuck in the carpet sometimes when she gets a little bit agitated by the dogs. That was a fail, but they're really cute. <laughs> Oop, I just dropped them. And they were like $1.50 or $2.50 or something. I'm not sure. So it's not the end of the world that she hates them with a passion. Not surprised though. She hates most things with a passion. So can you guys hear the rain? It's really late at night. Okay, so the next two things I got were from Big W. I went in specifically to get this one item um, and I got it. And it's way too big for what I needed it for, but it is fine. We can just put it on the ground. But it is a giant <laughs> pet bed. It's literally just a square uh, pet bed with a fuzzy top. So it's got a fuzzy top and then has like a grippy back, but it's just a square like this. 
So it's nice and plain. I was hoping it would sit inside the dog bed that Evan has made, but it is just a touch too big. This is what it's called. It is very soft. So we might just put this in the lounge room somewhere and see if the dogs will just sit on it because Evan made that bed when we only had one dog and now we have two dogs. So it's a bit, it's a bit small for them to share. So now we have an extra pet bed to just sit somewhere in the lounge room. And on that note, I got another pet blanket because Frost has a gray and white blanket that she has had since she was a puppy. And Kai has stolen a towel that he has adapted, adapted, adopted as his own blanket. But I thought it would be nice for him to have the option of an actual blanket. Um, he may not want it, <laughs> but you can, you can never have too many pet blankets. If you're a pet person, you know, you can never have too much of anything for your pets because they are our babies. I just got him this pet blanket. So it's kind of the opposite of what Frost's is. So Frost's background is white and spots are gray. So it kind of complements quite nicely. So that's that. He's right here. I'll give it to him. He sniffed it and went back to sleep. These last few things are going to be super quick. So these I picked up at like a $2 store. I think it was, I think it was called Better Home or something like that. Um, but I grabbed these because we don't have a dishwasher in our kitchen at the moment and we won't have a dishwasher until we renovate and I am so sick of putting my hand in dirty dish water so these have a little chain so that I will be able to find the plug a bit easier and just yank it out which is going to be an improvement and I just got two just in case like it's always nice to have a backup. My last item is actually four items, but they're all the same, so it's one item. Kind of, you know what I mean. This one is also super inconvenient to show you guys, but I will do my best. They are, they, they are just black plain curtain rods. They have a simple kind of ending like that. I really hate curtain rods that have like the spinny end or like different shapes. I just, I don't like them. I want them to just be plain and simple and like sleek. So that is what this is. Um, they were on sale from Spotlight because they're having a sale now that we've come out of lockdown. I don't know if it's still on, it might be, probably, I'm not sure, but they were half price. So I grabbed four of them because currently we have, uh, that bedroom behind me has a black one, I think, but it's quite ugly. And then that bedroom has a really ugly cream curtain rod. This bedroom doesn't have one at all. And our main bedroom has these horrible blinds that we just want to get rid of. So I grabbed four, so every room can match. They're extendable, so these three bedrooms here are all a lot smaller than our bedroom, but they will fit both window styles. So everything will match, everything will be sleek and modern and just much nicer. Small improvements make me feel much better until we can do big renovations, so curtain rods. That's it. That's all I have for you guys today. But it is always fun seeing what people bought. So I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please leave a like or a comment down below and subscribe to my channel to see what I buy in the future because you guys know there's going to be something. It'll be uh, probably tomorrow I will buy more things. Who knows? If you do love haul videos, check out this I don't know which side, check out this playlist because that's where all of my other hauls are and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.